everybody, welcome along to Head Squeeze. My name is Morna Fiskin and today I'm going to see if I can make an object invisible just using some vegetable oil and some Pyrex glassware. Now this is a really cool experiment looking at light refraction. For this you're going to need a various assortment of Pyrex beakers, make sure they are Pyrex glass. You're going to want some Pyrex test tubes as well some vegetable oil, you can also use baby oil as well if you want, and just some water. Now, light, when it passes from one medium to another, it changes speed, and this change in speed causes it to change direction, and this effect is called refraction. Now, an object is only visible if it reflects or refracts light. For example, if I take this glass beaker here, you're not actually seeing the glass beaker itself. What you're seeing is light bending off of the objects that are behind it. For example, me. Whenever light moves from one medium to another, this change in speed is measured by something called the refractive index. Now I'm going to demonstrate this now. So I'm going to take one of my little Pyrex test tubes here and I'm going to fill up this spare beaker with some water. So there we go. Right, now, what you'll see when I place this Pyrex beaker into the glass beaker of water is that you can still see that test tube. This is because the glass uh, Pyrex beaker and the test tube and the water, they actually have different refractive indexes, which means that we can see it because the light is coming through. Some of it's being refracted, but the rest of it's actually being reflected back to you so you can see it. The difference is when you use vegetable oil and Pyrex, things start to get a little bit interesting. So what we've got here in this beaker is I've got some vegetable oil sitting on top of some water. Now this happens because vegetable oil has a lower density than water, so it floats on top. And I've got another Pyrex beaker and I've filled it up with some vegetable oil just from the side here. Now watch closely what happens when I place this test tube inside the beaker. You can see it in the water, but it has disappeared in the oil. Now that is because the vegetable oil and the Pyrex have a really similar refractive index. So essentially, the light is just passing straight through that oil and it seems to disappear. Now on a head squeeze, we like to kind of uh, scale things up a little bit. So you might have noticed that I've got a massive beaker sitting here, which again is filled up with vegetable oil. So just because it's a bit messy and oil is very slippy, I'm gonna put on some gloves and I'm going to take my spare test tube here and again watch what happens as I place it inside. Now you see it, now you don't, which is pretty cool. You can bring it out and do it again. Now when you see it, it's because you're not seeing the test tube itself, you're actually seeing the air that's inside the test tube. So when you fill it up with oil, refractive indexes are the same and the test tube essentially disappears, which is really good. And, oh, disappears so well that you end up dropping it inside. So, oh, there it is, right? So we've got one, that's very cool. But um, I was practicing this earlier and I actually dropped another one. So I'm gonna have a search for that now. So, oh, yep, there's the other one. Cool. Right, that's pretty good. Um, and just to prove that I can make something invisible for the eagle-eyed among you, did you spot that hidden inside the whole time? So there you go. Oil and Pyrex essentially make something go invisible just through the process of refraction. 